This is a moment that many of you don't even know you've been waiting for. The vehicle behind me is Abel's R100. He's really rebuilt almost the entire thing. It's got upgraded everything. Adaptronic, all you name it, it's all in there. But the point is, is that that beast is going on the dyno. As many of you know, Abel is an insane genius when it comes to making these rotary engines sing, and this car is going to be a pinnacle of that. The point here is this one's going for some big records. I don't know if we'll see them today. Today's the very first time you're seeing it with me. The first time this thing's going to be on a dyno and really pushing the load limits. But that's the goal. This thing needs to perform. As many of you know, I rarely take on any sort of sponsored or partnered videos unless the product is really good. And in this case, it's the Cove Commuter, which is a phenomenal little Bluetooth speaker setup that works excellent for somebody like me who isn't necessarily the biggest audiophile, but needs something with a little bit more pep. Not only does this thing have the obvious left and right channels, but it also has a baby subwoofer on the bottom. And I'll be honest, the little thing kicks. Granted, I put a couple dollars into the Insight making a stereo video system. I could have just done this. Not only could I connect it through Bluetooth on my phone, but also, of course, the good old aux port, as well as USB. Something like this is really easy to operate. Of course, you've got the volume right on the top that you can spin, and right now it's at max volume. Here is the perfect example of where this becomes very useful. I don't want to wire a sound system into this room, nor do I want to have it stuck in this room with all the expense. You can have this little guy charging on your USB, connecting to your phone, or anything else. If you're curious about learning more, go to covespeakers.com slash robd to find out more. That's my little coupon code, robd. And you'll see that you'll save more than 65% or $130 off of the retail price on there, which ends up being a better deal than you'll find it on Amazon. It is difficult to play copyrighted music on YouTube, but I will tell you guys this. This thing plays Britney Spears better than you can ever imagine. There are a lot of really unique features about this two rotor. First of all, is this intake manifold. This is using his particular own formula for making that air do what it's supposed to do. As you can tell, it's been custom fabricated and was meant for way more injectors, originally of whatever alcohol or anything like that, but now it is a pump gas or race gas vehicle. You've got a precision 8685 here with the shortest dump down pipe flange that you've ever seen right there. And the coolest part about this is the wastegate is welded into the exhaust housing. That is Isaiah and Abel's creation. Something pretty crazy right there. As you can see here from the intake backwards, you do see that it is a water to air intercooler. Some of the little flanges have been bolted off because he only needs so much water flowing through this, but you've got the tank in the back feeding ice cold water up to the front. Abel originally didn't run an alternate on this car, but the coils and the variety of electronics on this thing required so much draw that the voltage would drop so much that it would affect the vehicle. So, Built Apex was able to build a custom little bracket to fit an alternator in a very, very tight spot. The rear tires are like almost perfectly on. Like, they, yeah, they, they have the, the correct amount of space.
side by side behind me, you see two of the most extreme cars in the room. You have, of course, the four rotor chassis, which is about 78 inches wide, an absolute monster, especially trying to get it onto a trailer. But here we have the exact opposite problem. The little R100 is almost so small, it can barely belly up to the bar. B, 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 B. The point is, this car is gonna have some trouble getting on the dyno. This is pretty damn impressive. The guy's got the thing up on there, strapped in pretty solid. That's cold.
runs, it was about 350 to 450 horsepower, but the air fuel ratio is down in the nines. It's running so rich right now, so we're at a little bit of a break while Abel takes a lot of the fuel out of the map and then pushes for more. I went to go over here and of course the air compressor over here is blowing off too. Well it appears to be that the blow off valve of all things in that car is leaking. It goes to about 12 psi and it says nope no more. When I said it was mid to low 400s I thought it was at 15 psi. The blow off valve says no that's 12. It's a very healthy number at this level. Unfortunately we're not going to be able to go any further this time but she's got it and she's coming back. 